I am a scientist. Uh, um, you know, I came to Ambry in the research and development department and worked my way up. You know, starting at any level position, they always say, well, what's my, what's my room for moving up at the company? And I always say, hey, I started as a scientist in the R&D department, and now I'm the CEO of the company. So there's no, there's no limit. You can move as high as, you know, as, as your, your skill set and, you know, how well you do takes you. So I remember 2008 when I started, I remember my interview, Charlie came and I, and I talked to him and you know, what I, what struck me about Charlie is he was very laid back, but he was always talking about the future, you know, what we were going to do, what Ambry was going to do, not exactly what Ambry was doing right now. It wasn't just a, you know, a, a business model. This is how we're going to make all this money and all this stuff. It was really focused on the science and, and that's what drew me here. To me, that's the most exciting part. You know, it's really being on the forefront of the technology. There's, there's no guidance. There's nobody to ask, you know, what's going to happen when we do this or, uh, you know, how are we going to handle this if this comes up? There's, we do it real time. But, you know, we always say you've got to do it in a responsible manner. And I think that's one thing that Ambry's been really good at in, in diagnostics is having his finger on the pulse of the market. You know, when is the market ready for this test? You know, not when are the academics ready is, or when are the advocates ready. It's when is the, the whole clinical market as a whole ready. When are, do the results make sense? When can the clinician take the results and actually do something with them? I mean, my philosophy and the kind of the way that I see Ambry and really this whole field is the potential of diagnostics is you, you can't even measure it. This is where medicine is going to go. You know, the personalized medicine, you get the right drug for your genetic makeup. And we're just at the beginning stages of it. I mean, if you look at what's known, it's not much. Even on the, even on the diseases that have been characterized for 20, 25 years, the number of genes that are known to be causative is not, is not very many. And a lot of that has to do with the technology. I mean, the technology every year gets better and better and better. So every year we know more and more and more. So to me, that's, that's the most exciting part about, about this job and, and you know, where I see Ambry in the future. Is we're just at the beginning stages. What we can accomplish here and how we can really change the world, you can't measure it. Um, so I think if we stick with the science, stick with, you know, advancing the technology, not being afraid to be the leaders, you know, that was, that's one thing that's always hard for a company is leading, right? It's easy to follow when someone's successful, but actually being the one that trailblazes, I mean, that's something that, that Amber's been really good at in the past. And I think that's something that, that we'll continue to be good at.